What's up everyone? Welcome to your second Photoshop project. And in this project, we're going to be learning how to take Photoshop files, making them black and white, and adding color where we want it. So go ahead and get your image. I'm going to use my same image from last time. I took away my black eye. And I'm going to be changing the color of my eyes to a beautiful blue. A nice artistic effect, if you will. So now that you have your colored image, we want to change this into black and white. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead to this image right here at the top, click mode and click grayscale. Now click go ahead and click discard. And what this is going to do is turn your entire image into a grayscale image. Now this would be fine and dandy, but the problem is whenever you're working in this mode, you can only use colors that are shades of gray and black and white now since we want to turn our eyes blue that's a little problem so what we need to do is go back up to image where we just were go to mode and go to RGB color what this is allows you to do is work in color now there are different ways to do this but as far as going ahead and turning your image right into a black and white image then be able to work with color this is the easiest way I found now go ahead and zoom up on your eye or whatever part you are changing go zoom up on it now there are a couple ways to change the color of your eye one is the pen tool and one is the paintbrush most of the time you're probably going to want to be using the pen tool so go ahead and get the pen tool selected once you have it selected go around the outer edge of your eye just as I am and select it and don't worry about um getting the exact uh the pupil part don't worry that you're covering that up because we're going to be making this uh kind of transparent so you're not going to be able to tell the difference anyways now once you have this selected go ahead and right click it and press make selection now you're going to want your feather radius uh, about two or three depending on uh what looks better i like mine at three and go ahead and click OK. And if you didn't watch the last tutorial, what the feather radius does is instead of making this a hard edge, it kind of fades it out into the natural and it just gives it a more natural look. Now, once you have it uh, a color in your eye and you pick the feather radius, go over here until your layers panel and click, double click this little layer thumbnail of colors. And in this color, I mean in this panel you can go ahead and select the color that you want now I want to be giving myself a, some baby blue eyes so I'm gonna be picking a nice new color now your new color shows up in here now go ahead and click OK once you find the color that you want now you can see that the color is over your eye and that's not exactly what we want so what we want to do is actually I can't find it anywhere but oh here's it right here under your layers I usually have it at the top but uh, it's not there right now under your layers panel right here make sure you don't have the background selected make sure you have the color selected go down and go to soft light and click it now as you see our eye has changed into a nice little baby blue now to get rid of these little outlines marching answer they're called go ahead and hold down control and press D and that will deselect your image now if you zoom out you can see that our eye has a nice little baby blue look to it now again if you don't want that pupil with a little blue shading over it you can go ahead and use a pen tool to uh, just work your way around that but there's a different way that some people prefer to do and that is to go ahead and click this brush right here and once you have this brush go ahead and select let me click on my background go ahead and select whatever size fits and I like my opacity right at about 60 when I'm about 65 when I'm doing this now what you can do from here let me zoom up on that a little more is go ahead and actually paint the color in yourself now I forgot and again 
as I forgot to do, make sure you're in soft light. This is the best for uh, using this. And now you can go ahead and paint the color of your eye in just like that. Now this is a different way to do this, but some people prefer doing this over the other. And again, make sure to experiment with colors, experiment with your brush size, and uh, your flow, and everything like that. But as you can see, you most likely want to use the pen tool and going around the pupil, or uh, the brush. And uh, if you like doing it manually, then go ahead and do that. But as you can see, these are two different ways to change the colors of your eyes. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. And remember to watch these tutorials in high def. They'll help you out a bunch. So, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.